I'm going to show you five editing hacks in CapCut that Mr. Beast uses so you can get millions of views on your videos like Mr. Beast does. All five of these hacks increase audience retention, and the last one is so powerful it alone can blow up your channel. Here's what happens on my small travel channel when I use these Mr. Beast hacks. I've never witnessed anything like this before. Number one, music. Mr. Beast sometimes uses cinematic music to make things feel more epic. This is the largest shredder in the world, and this Lamborghini's gonna fall in it. Mr. Beast also liberally uses music stop downs. That's when you suddenly and abruptly stop the music to set up and emphasize a big moment. This is gonna be a massive explosion. It's getting closer. Any second I don't know now? when it's gonna happen. Oh, I'm scared. And to set up comedy. I'm speechless. For I'm still processing that. That was insane. Selecting the right music for the right situation can create emotion, and that is huge. If you can make people feel things, they're going to watch your videos. And dude, don't be shy with it. Go all in. Use music like you mean it. This is how you use music in CapCut. First, let's watch the short clip without music. I'm going to blow up my house just to get views on YouTube. We just click on audio, select sounds, type in what we want. We want epic music. Then you just try a few and see what you like. Let's listen to this one. I feel it's pretty big, right? So I'm going to hit the plus sign. We can see the waveforms and we see that the music doesn't start immediately. So we want to position the playhead right where the music starts and click on the clip and hit split and delete this first part. Bam and then click on this music and slide it all the way to the beginning so the music starts right away. And then let's see how that looks with a little bit of music. I'm gonna blow up my house just to get views on YouTube. Goodbye, Gigi. Just kidding, I, I can't afford that. And that brings us to the second thing Mr. Beast uses in his videos, which are explosions. And it's not really about the explosions, but it's about something that's going to re-engage the audience. Jar them, give them something that maybe they weren't even expecting. Sometimes he uses fake explosions like that one, and sometimes he uses real explosions. Since you probably don't have Mr. Beast's budget to be blowing up real cars, you can download movie clips and Mr. Beast's explosions directly from the internet using my favorite app linked below. You can also just screen record a green screen explosion using your phone. I've got a video on how to get any video off the internet linked below if you want to check that out. But let me show you how to add a green screen explosion to your videos. Right here is the house we want to blow up. I've downloaded a video with a bunch of green screen explosions using that app. And now we're going to bring it into this project by clicking add overlay. We want the explosion to be on top of the house. So I'm just going to click on it and add it. There are a bunch of great explosions on here. Let's find one that we like. Number seven looks pretty good. I'm gonna set my phone down so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to click on it and hit split and delete what I don't want. And then I'm gonna to go to, I don't know, about there so we can get a good chunk of it. Click on it, split, hit delete. And using my thumbs again, I'm going to zoom in and slide that over. Right here looks about good. We'll show the house for just a frame or two and then bam, start the explosion. Except we got two problems. All that green and it's the wrong size. So first let's get rid of the green. I'll go ahead and use my mouse so you can see what's going on. To get rid of the green, you just click on it. You scroll over to cut out. Then you select chroma key and we choose the color picker and we choose green. It looks pretty consistent. It looks like this is professional. Then all you need to do is go down to intensity and adjust it just so the green disappears. The least amount is the best. If you do it too much, the explosion starts to break up a little bit like that. So you want to use as little as possible of the intensity. Click check. And now that looks great. It's just too small. So we're going to just with our thumbs scale it up. Nink, nink. We're not blowing up the dirt, we're just blowing up the house. We're going to put it right there. And let's see, that's close, right? Before we fully check it, let's make sure that the explosion doesn't go over to the next clip. So we're just going to scroll to the end, click on it, hit split, and delete it. Now let's check it. Looks pretty good, but it was, it was missing something. Sound effects. Sound effects can enhance the heck out of your videos and make them much more engaging. Just draw people in. Let's just add a simple explosion. This is how you add sound effects in CapCut. 
Hit the back arrow if you don't see this little audio icon. Click on that and then click on effects. And then in this box, let's just type in, I don't know, how about explosion? Let's see what they got. You know, that first one sounds pretty good. Let's see how this looks with an explosion. My next two tips are the most useful and most important, but before I share those with you, let's just watch this full screen. Click on this little full screen icon here on the left and... I'm gonna blow up my house just to get views on YouTube. Goodbye, GG. Just kidding, I, I can't afford that. See how much fun it is blowing stuff up? Tip number four is super easy to do. If I'm just droning on talking to you like this, you would get bored really quickly. I mean, I know I'm talking kind of flat, but just staring at my face with nothing else happening is boring. And if you don't have an explosion or other stuff, graphics, text that's appropriate to add on the screen, one thing you can do is a simple push in. Here's how you do it in CapCut. Behold, a clip of me yammering. If you're just staring at the camera. Yeah, I'm already bored. What can we do to make this a little more watchable besides adding some personality to it? We just go to the beginning of the clip and we're gonna add some motion. We're going to add a slow push in. We highlight the clip. This little icon, this diamond appears. You click on that. That is a keyframe. A keyframe marks the beginning or the end of a change in a property. The property we're going to change is scale. We're gonna start scaling it at that first keyframe, go to the end, add another keyframe, and at this point, the clip will be bigger. How do we do that? Well, I've already got the keyframe selected. You can tell because it's red. I'm just going to reach in here and I'm going to scale it by using my thumbs like that. And then I'm going to lower this a little bit so that my eyes are in about the same place the whole time. So they stay kind of in the middle of the screen. And then I'm going to go back to the beginning and let's hit play and see if that's a little better. If you're just staring at the camera talking and nothing else is happening, I will lose my mind after three seconds. Some subtle motion goes a long way. Tip number five, jump cuts. Jump cuts are amazing and the underlying reason for jump cuts is even more important. You need to get rid of every single frame in your video that is boring, that makes people check out. Every second of your video should make people want to watch the next second of the video. Watch a second of this. If you're not, you know, sort of perfect at talking on camera. So if you talk like that on camera and you're not, you know, super uh, confident and you start a little bit, you could do a bunch of takes or you could just fix it in the edit. How do you do that? You just cut out the spaces, the ums and the ahs and you make everything really succinct. I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. Then I'm gonna give you a power tip to see if you did it right. We just find the good parts. Uh, I started to stutter, so we just click on it. We hit split. We just get to the beginning of the piece we wanna use. We hit split and we delete. Spending a couple seconds to remove the extra junk, it looks like this. If you're not perfect at talking on camera. That's considerably better. It's called a jump cut because. If you're not. It jumps, it's a little bit jarring, but it kind of re-engages people. Now in the TV world, they didn't really do this. This was considered unprofessional to have a jump cut. You would fix it by maybe putting some B-roll, something else over that so you wouldn't tell that, oh, we cut out a middle part. But here's a secret. When I was in Hollywood working on commercials for Marvel and Disney movie, we got a direction directly from Disney to add jump cuts into our videos so they would look more like YouTube. Disney wanted us using this stuff. But if you wanna make it a little more professional, you just click on the second clip and then push in on it, just scale it up a little bit. Then it looks a little more intentional, like it's another camera angle. So you would, it would look like this. If you're not perfect at talking. So that looks a little better. That's another thing that you can do with jump cuts to smooth them out a little bit if that's the look you're going for. The power tip is once you have deleted every single boring frame of your video, sit down and watch it with somebody else and watch their face. The second they check out, check their phone, start talking to you, act bored. <laughs> You know that's a boring second, just delete it. And you'll feel it in your gut. Like I'll sometimes have my wife come in and watch something with her and I'll be watching the video and I'm like, oh man, watching it with somebody else, I'm embarrassed that she's watching that. So you know it's something you need to delete. Dude, that can make or break your videos. These five Mr. Beast hacks are just the beginning. These five additional Mr. Beast hacks will take you to an entirely new level. You need to watch this video right this second.